Today we're going to be matching some RCA 6V6 GT tubes using the Tektronix 576 curve tracer. It's actually a little bit more accurate, in fact it's a lot more accurate than using a tube tester for matching tubes because you can actually get a uh, curve which is shown in this RCA book. You'll get a series of curves very similar to uh, these curves which are shown for a type 6L6GC tube which is very similar to the 6V6. And what happens is the, tube te uh, the tubes are tested under a variety of conditions at actually full operating load all the way up to in this case 350 volts on the plate and uh, about 315 volts on the screen. So what we have to do is we have to supply a plate and a screen voltage. So we're going to dial in the plate voltage and I'll zoom in on our meter here. Oh, I can't zoom it in. Well, you'll have to take my word for it that it's 315 volts on the screen and 6.3 volts on the heater. We're at 6.4 volts on the heater right now. Uh, when we plug the tubes in it'll drop. And then we'll measure the screen voltage. And we're going to dial that up to be 315. These are book maximum ratings. So we're going by the RCA receiving tube manual and we're actually going to run these tubes right at the peak of their ratings. So now we have 315 volts on the screen. And then finally, and most importantly, on the, uh, the unit itself, I'm going to move the uh, camera just a little closer here. We have the trace is a small spot right at zero and when we turn up the plate voltage we are at 50 volts per division so we're going to go 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 350 and since the tubes will pull it down somewhat we're going to turn it all the way up to the maximum 100 percent rating so when the tubes are actually running they'll run about 350 plate uh, volts. Then we'll plug the two tubes into the socket. The nice thing about the Tektronix 576 is it was designed with a pad that the uh, you could actually plug uh, the solid state devices that were under test. It was designed for transistors and FETs. With a little ingenuity, um, uh, a pad can be modified to take two tubes, a heater supply, and a screen supply, and you can actually plot the curves of tubes on a device that was actually designed originally for um, solid state devices. So now we'll pull up a little bit closer. We're just about ready. Turn up the intensity and we'll switch over to first tube number A. And we have the curves showing on there. There's a little bit of a shutter bar because the scan speed of my video camera is a little different from the sweep speed of the 576. But going from zero volts, uh, I'm sorry, zero milliamps of plate current, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, almost 150 at 20 milliamps per division, which is actually shown on the readout. Then we can switch over to 2B, and it's very close. 120, 140. These two, if you switch back and forth, you can see these tubes not quite perfectly matched but very close and as the screen starts to warm up the traces will actually come just a little bit together or in some cases they may actually separate more where you might be testing at 150 volts plate voltage on a tube tester this will test at negative up from negative 20 grid bias all the way up to zero grid bias where the tube is running accelerator to the floor full afterburner as hard as it can possibly run. A tube tester will never test a tube this high but to see if you have a matched pair you need to run the tubes at this type of output. So we have the tubes at about 20, 40, about 150 milliamp on that tube and about 140 on that tube. So it's not quite a perfectly matched pair which it might be on a tube tester but on the tube tracer.
tells a real story. They're not quite perfectly matched. But these are both excellent tubes showing almost textbook linearity. Nice spacing between the steps, which actually represents the transconductance, which is two volts between the steps. And by switching back and forth, you can eventually test some tubes and find two that are a perfect match, even at 350 plate volts and 350 screen, or I'm sorry, 315 screen volts, which, as I said, a tube tester will never test the tube at. So this is showing the tubes under a, a 10 different operating conditions all at once and is actually an ideal way to test tubes. If you'd like some matched pair of tubes for your Fender amp or your Hi-Fi amp, give us a call. Brent Jessett Recording and Supply, audiotubes.com on the web, 847-496-4546. We'd love to hear from you and get you a custom match set of tubes. Thank you.